Wow. Which which finger is this on? Today we're going to give something away to you for free. Yep, absolutely free. Here's all you got to do. You got to watch the video from beginning to the end. You got to like the video. And then you got to comment and say, this is the item I really would like to have. And then on March 31st, during the live streaming Q&A, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we are going to randomly draw a winner from those who left a comment on the video. Hey, share the video too. That'll help your chances. As a matter of fact, we'll put your name in twice. But before we get to the unboxing, I'm actually going to donate my time this morning to move boxes. Not open them. Move them. I'm a huge advocate of giving, specifically giving back. And that could be of your time, like I'm volunteering this morning for this ministry. Or your treasures. A lot of these clothing items I'm moving, I actually donated. Or of your talents. This particular ministry that I like to help here, they're opening up a thrift store. And they're going to be at our eBay selling course. And they're going to be learning how to maximize profit to fund them sharing love with the people in the community. You could do the same thing too. I love this organization because this organization shared and displayed love towards me during the most difficult times in my life. Why wouldn't I want to give back to such an organization? And you could do the same thing too. Find one that you're passionate about and you can give. We're now back home with this entire mess that's actually in the trailer. So now we got to pull it out of the trailer and do a little bit of unboxing. The good news is, is I actually organized it as I put it in there. Trash to one side and stuff that we had looked at on one side, stuff that we didn't look at on another side. So should be fun, should be easy. As we start our unboxing, big shout out to Vivian Dinsmore. She's one of our faithful subscribers. Always has words of encouragement for George and I. And we love that she loves what we do and so this is what we do we try and entertain and we try and educate you on this process and give you encouragement and so often the encouragement comes from you a lot of these totes and there were maybe four or five in the total in the total unit it's just random pieces and a lot of this may end up going to goodwill and I'll, I'll take the tax donation unless there's something of value sometimes the tax donation is worth more than trying to hold on to it and sell it for space. But here we go. Here we go. Now, one of the things we want to look at, we want to look for red line tires for the old, the old, <laughs> old collectible cars. Look at this. Some great ones in there. Let's see what's on the other side. Yep, other side too. So we're looking for the old school red lines. We even have subscribers, one particularly Ron, who wants to wants to take care of some of these old ones, such as this, look at this here, wants to restore them, and I know there are people who actually do this for a living. So let's take a look. For example, that thing needs some help. And so there are those who love restoring these for fun. Here's a little box that was actually in totes. We've got some books, American Tall Tales, Shakespeare, Don Quixote, 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 it's cold outside. Classics for young readers. Oh, there we go. Here we go. This would be collectible. The commemorative issue. This is Princess Diana on the front. It's right there. Looks like we got Kurt Cobain. Yep, Kurt Cobain. Looks like celebration of Princess Diana's life. Can't grip anything. It's too cold and... There are no gloves that will keep my hands warm and allow me to actually use my fingers. Diana. This is, this is a whole collection of Princess Diana. That probably has value right there. Uh, most intriguing people of the century. We got Elvis, Oprah, and Diana again. Oh, looky here. Looky here. Looks like we're going to get into Needlepoint. There's a, would you call that a doily? So somebody was crocheting doilies. This, a game band, Minecraft. This probably has value. Let's see if it's in there. And, ah, oh, he got clickbaited. That's never good. Clickbait. Okay. Oh, there's a dice right there. One of our faithful subscribers, Pamela Lynn. Although I gotta tell you, I've seen her on some other shows too, but uh, she collects dice, so we make sure that we get them all to her, even if she is out there flirting with other channels. And we've got pill bottles. 
Lots of pill bottles. I'm sure they used them to hold something. I'm just going to toss those aside. Throw those away. Look at this. This is like... This is a crocheted boot. Or a sock, boot, something. A little hat. Nope, that's a doily. Nope, that's, a, that's an owl. A crocheted owl. So, no doubt we're going to find a lot of needlework, crochet things. That's pretty busted up. That'll be interesting. We've got a box that says glass living room hutch stuff. Now, they had so much great stuff as it was anyway in furniture. I figured this box has got to have some great stuff. Fragile, but we're sealed and I don't have my knife. One second. Wait, wait, hold a second. This box clearly states no knifing. We're just going to have to manual handle it. No knifing. It's right there. Man handle away. Here we go. Just manhandled that table. Let's see if we can get in here. And this is looking like bubble wrap. This looks like this could be something else. Okay, let's see. We got bubble wrap. Look at here. This is all glass. You look like a snowflake pattern. It says Aerocroc 20 USA. A R C O Aerocora? Aerocroc? I'm not sure. I'm going to set those up on the table. Oh, wow! Look at the patina on this. Oh, wow! Oh, oh, wow! Look at it. Inspected number 16. This is Rogers, 4335. If you can see that there, Rogers, 4335. I don't have the flash on right now because people are talking about orbs again. and We all know I don't believe in orbs. So it gets old, the old, the ord thing is funny, but it gets old at the same time. We got another platter. This says made in China. I don't think there's anything to that. Look at the patina on this one though. There's something to this for sure. Look at that. Look at that. Let's see if we can find a marking. We can. Heirloom. It's called an heirloom and it's in Bennington EP. So electroplated. So, beautiful, beautiful piece. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, everything's so wrapped up. Okay, we got the top to something. Again, beautiful patina. I bet you it's the top to, I don't know. I don't even know if we're going to be able to get into all of this. Okay. And there's no doubt there's going to be some great things. It just looks like nothing. That looks for salt and pepper. Here's antique piece of pottery. The bottom says, the bottom says Roverville, Roseville. Very, very difficult to see. Roserville or Roverville, something along those lines. Oh, careful, careful. Don't want to be knocking this stuff around. Oh, wow. I know some of you love glass. So, Dogwood by Hay Gill. Dogwood by Hay Gill. Looks like it's got gold plate up top. i just do something. Figure out what that was later. More filler. Well, look at this wood cup. It's kind of cool. Wood chalice. We've got... Probably a lid in here to this. To look for that in a little bit. This was all in the hutch, is what it said. I don't know what you keep in your hutch. This is Marinex, but usually you keep dropped it. Usually you keep expensive stuff in a hutch. I'm hoping. Here we got an old bottle. There's something in it. Look, there's definitely something in it still. Let's. Can you smell that? What's that smell like? Olive oil, maybe? I, leave it in the comments. What did you smell? I think it was olive oil. Nothing edible, though. That's for sure. Here's another one with a topper. Missing the cork part. but Still a cool piece. Another top. 
Oh, you know what? I bet you those two tops go to this. Look. Maybe? Maybe not. Well, I don't know what it is yet, but I have a feeling something sets in there. And those two toppers go on it. Alright. Let's see what we have. I don't want to go through this whole box because not everybody loves glassware as much as some other people. So I try and mix everything up for everyone. But I have a feeling if we don't go through this whole box, we're going to miss something incredible. So... More Marinex. Yep, Marinex right there. Set that off to the side. Just have a feeling that this unit is gonna have a huge yield. That goes to a piece we already saw. It goes to that piece right there. I, I, it just you know when you feel in your gut that there's just a hidden gem and treasure? Well, this unit makes me feel that. Probably because of the, all the antiques we found already. Look at this. That looks like... That looks like Bob from Bob's Burgers. That's what that looks like. Alright, so we got a handmade mug of Bob from Bob's Burgers. How can it get any better than that? We'll set that aside. going to be so much work in this unit. Well, that's broken. The broken piece isn't in here. I didn't break it. They had it as a broken piece. So, oh well. Or maybe here's another one that feels the same. Maybe it's not broken. Maybe look. They're almost the same. Broken the same way. Maybe they intentionally did that. I don't know. Good question. I don't think anything's in there. Let's see. Now, that has got to be that blue depression glass, right? Make sure you timestamp if you tell me. Timestamping is you put the actual time where I'm showing you this in the video. So if you look down there and it's at, let's say it's at 631, you would type 631 like on a digital clock. Six colon 31 and then that creates a hyperlink that anybody can click on it and see exactly what you said about the item so if that's depression glass tell me and make sure you timestamp and that all oh here's a jewelry box yep it's in there it's definitely in there look at that look at that oh yeah <laughs> oh we're getting in some jewelry I'll have to see what that is Come on, come on, come on. We got any more? Come on. What else do we have? Oh, here's a piggy bank. Here's a piggy bank. Nothing in it. Came up dry on that one. A family photo we need to get out of there. Okay. Something in here. We got the key. That might be the house key. So there's a key in there. And... Look, 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 look in there. You see it? You see it? Look. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Look at this. They actually had to cut the wedding band off. They had to cut it. It got stuck on and they had to cut it. That's gold. That's gold and so is this. <laughs> and let's hope. I bet you those are real. Let's, let's put the light on them. Okay, I checked these off camera. And these are real. So this is gold. That's 18 karat gold right there. It's not 24. But we're missing one. We're missing one diamond insert right here. So I have no doubt that those are those are real as well. Now, these little ones, they're not worth very much. But this one, that one's going to have some value for sure. Look at that. Look at that, 100% real, right there. <laughs> we did it again. Here's a nice wooden chest. It looks like we maybe 
missing a back. So maybe it was a wooden chest and a sitting station for a kid at the same time. We see some drawing on top of it for sure. So let's open her up and let's see. We got, we got dirty Legos. Look at that, that's pretty filthy. But don't ever discount Legos. Legos will sell for good money. Let's see what else we have in here. Looks like we got Minecraft toys and what's that? Oh, the old Hot Wheels track. How many of you got a good whipping, a good spanking with one of these growing up? I gotta know. I gotta know. I'm taking a poll in the comments. Who got spanked with one of these growing up? Or who did the spanking with one of these? If you spanked your kids with one of these, let us know. And if you got spanked with one of these, let us know. This box says canning jars, basement, glass storage, and I found a knife. Can't beat that. Let's see what's inside. Let's see if they were using the ball jars. Who knows? Somebody was canning. It just makes you wonder how many amazing things were cooked on that old baker's cabinet. The Hoosier cabinet? The Hoosier daddy cabinet? Okay, we got some clothes. Uh, Adventure time. Some underwear. And here we go. Mason jars. And a bunch of them. So canning mason jars. Wonder what's underneath. Pardon me, do you have any gray poupon? Let's see what's underneath. There's another layer of clothing and then, not jars. Yeah, some are jars, some aren't jars. I'll have to go through this all completely. Let me get this layer off and then I'll show you what's underneath. Underneath we have more canning jars. This looks like a paper towel or a napkin holder. Some baskets. This tote didn't have a top. We've got a basket. We'll probably just donate that. Look at this. Look at this. These are the, uh, we like to call them creepy dolls. But you've got the sleepy eyelids. Those ones work about this one this one's got a huge dress on it and yep the eyes work on this one and then oh come on gotta get out of there and it's like the eyes work on this one as well there's three of them right there three of the old old dolls powerpuff girls looks like it might be new i don't know Nothing there. Let's see what we have here. Hey, we got something. We've got Pokemon cards. Which, remember, the original Pokemon cards are worth quite a bit from 95, 94, 95, and these are 2009. So not as worth as much as I would have liked, but hey, nonetheless, they are there. Let's see what, oh, here's another one. Look at that, there's four. Well, four so far. There's another one. Okay. Maybe. This looks like art decor. Clothing. Yeah, but the clothing is probably packaging for something. What is actually in here? Kind of rooster. Pedal for a sewing machine. What is really in here? Ugly sweatshirt contest winner right there. Ah, there it is. The petroleum jelly. That's what we are looking for. It's only gotten one scoop taken out of it. That's the good stuff. It's kind of a cool collection of tins in a banana box. Right here, we've got a vegetable slicer, it says. Looks like the original box, and... Let's see if I can get that out. Look at that. Look at that. The, the sticker still on the blade, even. Never been used. That's pretty cool. Although the box isn't in the best shape. It's so cold out here right now. This is not good weather to be doing this in. And yet, at the same time, I wanted to do it for you guys. There's something in there. I'm going to have to open those up. But tomorrow's supposed to be warmer so we can get into a lot more of this. These look like the original tins. Tomorrow, 
when it's not so bitter cold out. Today what I did is I just slid into the garage to keep warm. Yeah, these look like the originals. How cool. I'll have to open every single one and make sure. Huh. Grape nuts used to actually come in a tin. Cereal must have used to come in a tin. Huh. I grew up in a grocery store. Didn't know that. But, uh, it was just... Uh, don't know what that one is. Here's a, Oh, look at this. Here's an old log cabin. Oh, wow. Wow. That's cool. That's really cool. And this looks like a cracker tin. That'd be like saltines with a top on it. You even have directions for your crackers. Huh. Really cool. This is the cupboard dining room box. Let's see what we got in here. We've got the beeswax candles. This, man, this looks like, yep, quilting. Look at this. This is all for quilting. This is all scrap pieces. We're starting to get into the actual fabric for quilting. Although that, that's got a fringy thing on it. I wonder what that's for. Huh. Lots and lots of fabric here. Surprise! What in the world are you doing here? <laughs> I thought I'd stop by and surprise you. You're not supposed to be here till this weekend. I know, but are you surprised? I am very surprised. Who doesn't love a good surprise? Look, I found all this quilting fabric, and you know how they love this stuff. Nice. You want to see what else I found? Sure. Look over there on the table. Here, I'll show you. Here. Okay, you ready? Uh-huh. See right there? That's the jewelry I found so far. It's pretty. That's gold. This is beautiful. That's the real deal. And a ring? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look how pretty that looks. Um, they can't see it if it's not in view. So shiny. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. Wow. Which... Which finger is this on? Huh. What are you trying to say? I'm that, just saying it looks great on my skin tone. That does look good on your skin tone. <laughs> Mine's a little darker than yours. Maybe it'll look good on my skin tone too. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Try it on. Okay. Let me see. I can't even feel my fingers anymore. Uh, doesn't have the same effect for me. I'm not really. Huh. This has been Jeremy. And George. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell button so that you actually get your notifications. And remember. Adventure awaits. You gotta go find it. What are you looking for? <laughs> what in the world are you looking for? Adventure. What else?